I was hiking up in the White Mountains and I could see something stumbling around. His eyes were closed, it was a newborn chipmunk. We sat with him for about a half hour, looked around to see if there was a nest and then listened for mom. And after all that time had passed, we decided it was best if we just took him home with us. We had just seen a couple gardener snakes on the trail, so we just wanted to make sure he was safe. If we had left him, he would have been eaten. When I first saw him, my thought was how to rehabilitate him, how we're gonna get him back out in the wild and make sure he's okay. I have a friend that is a vet tech, so she was the first call that I made. What do we need to do? What do I need to get? And she walked me through everything after she consulted another vet. They didn't give him a very good chance. First couple of weeks would be critical. But the unexpected part was our dog, Charlie, who was just obsessed and immediately in love with him. He would just sit and watch me feed him. Charlie, wait. Charlie? Let him eat. Charlie would just want to lick him and be near him. When Kip started opening his eyes, that's when he wanted to be with Charlie. So he would want to bury down in his fur. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Charlie would just let him. I think he thought of Charlie as like a mother or a comfort. He always wanted to be right next to Charlie. I just think that there was a comfort for both of them. I think early on noticed that Kip was just a little slower physically. He didn't have that energy. He wasn't maturing in a way that most chipmunks would. Maybe that was a reason that he was kicked out of the nest. Maybe the mom recognized that he wasn't going to mature properly and be able to take care of himself. So that's when we consulted with a few vets. He was becoming more lethargic, sleeping a lot more. So then she drove up, gave him fluids, and it just seemed like he was slowly shutting down. And he went to sleep and he didn't wake up the next morning. Charlie was devastated. I mean, we were all sad, but he would cry. He would sleep underneath the cage looking for him, like, where is he? After Chip had died and Charlie just seemed inconsolable and looking for him, we got him a stuffed animal chipmunk. He carried it everywhere with him. And would sleep with it. It helped so much to bring him out of looking for Kip and for the sadness. So he has this new companion that I think has really, really helped him to move on. Maybe Kip wasn't meant to be long for the world, but he was certainly a gift to us and to Charlie. And those couple months that we had with him were special. At least I do know that Kip was happy and we gave him the best possible chance and he had the best possible couple months with his best friend, Charlie.